back. This week is extremely exciting. We've reached a thousand subscribers and I'm over the moon. So thank you so much to all of you who have subscribed and who watch these videos every week. It just means the world to us. So thank you so much. I was hoping to do this video outside today, but let me just show you what is going on outside. Um, the rain is coming down. <laughs> so we are doing this video from Evelyn's room. She's downstairs and James is keeping an eye on her while I get this video done. So welcome back. We are the Impromptu Immigrants. My name is Bronwyn. We are a South African family living in Ireland and welcome to our journey and thank you for joining us. So this week I wanted to talk about things that you should not do in Ireland. I've spoken a lot about why we love this beautiful country and um, the things that we love so much about living here. But here are 10 things that you should definitely not do while in Ireland. I'm going to start at number 10 and work our way up the list to the most important. So make sure that you hang in there and so you take notes. So if you're coming to visit Ireland, here are a list of 10 things that you should not do while you are here. Number 10 on the list is it is not St. Patty's Day. Don't call it St. Patty's Day. It's not St. Patty's Day. It's St. Patrick's Day or St. Paddy's Day, not St. Patty's Day. Number nine on the list is don't drink in public. Obviously restaurants and pubs are an exception, but drinking in public is against the law. So on the beaches, in the parks, basically any areas where you are sharing space with public, it is much stricter in Northern Ireland, um, but here it's also frowned upon. You just, just don't do it. It's against the law. You could get a hefty fine. So don't drink in public. Number eight is smoking indoors is prohibited. Don't smoke indoors. Uh, the law was passed in May 2007. So restaurants, pubs, any closed public areas, smoking indoors is prohibited. So take that cigarette, take it outside. Most pubs and restaurants will have a designated smoking area outside for you. So don't light up indoors in Ireland. Number seven, don't have bad road etiquette. What we have found um, being in a smaller town, people are very friendly and loads of people wave when you're driving. So have good manners, wave back. It's generally hands on the steering wheel. Someone can give the finger hi. You know, so it's just it's just a general. They, I think they call it the finger twitch. <laughs> hi, um, if you really know the person very well, it tends to be the whole hand goes up against the the windscreen. So people wave. So it's it's just good manners. Just give hi, give a finger back. Not not the finger unless you're really mad about something. Um, people are very courteous towards pedestrians. If you see someone wanting to cross the road, slow down, let them cross the road. If it's safe to do so, obviously the car's not going to slam into the back of you. Cyclists, be very aware of cyclists. Slow down for them and give them a wide berth. It's just good manners. People here just seem to be very friendly when driving. Um, on the most part, I won't say everybody, but just, it's just good manners to wave. Now, when we first got to Ireland, something that we noticed straight away was the amount of swearing. Coming from South Africa, it's not a huge part of our spoken language, um, unless you throw in curse words at people. But here, it's, it's almost part of the language. So don't be offended by swear words or friendly banter. It's just part of the Irish language. And some cuss words will be thrown in don't take offense it's just the way it is um, the banter some sarcasm some dry humor give it straight back in good humor and you'll make friends fast I promise you um, so basically 
Irish people swear. Don't take it personally. It's part of the culture. Now, number five of things not to do in Ireland. Don't claim to be 100% Irish. If your great-grandmother or grandfather was born in Ireland, sure, you've got Irish her heritage, but you're not 100% Irish, so don't claim it unless you were born here. And even so, so, some Irish people who were born here don't claim to be 100% Irish. So it's just, I think it's an annoyance. I'm not Irish myself, but I do know that it is an annoyance to the Irish when someone flies in from a different country and claims to be 100% Irish. You're not. You have Irish heritage and that's great. That's something to be very proud of, but you're definitely not 100% Irish. Number four, don't forget to buy your round. When you're in a pub, it's just general good pub etiquette here in Ireland. If someone offers you a drink or buys you a drink, it is good etiquette to return the favor. So if someone buys a round for the table, it's generally expected that you will return the favor and buy a round after you've finished your drink. So don't forget to do that. It's considered quite bad manners if you don't. So buying a round, don't forget to do that. Don't not buy a round. Now, number three of things not to do in Ireland don't drive on the wrong side of the road. If you're coming from, say, for example, America, where you're driving on the right, we drive on the left here. Yeah. So it might come as a surprise, it might feel a bit unnatural, but don't forget to drive on the wrong side of the road, I suppose, for you. For us, it would be the left side of the road. And this all stems back from, I believe, the history is in um, so it's not the Irish's fault so don't blame the Irish they didn't make up this rule this comes from the French many many years ago in France nobility only nobility were allowed to drive their carriages on the left side of the road now during the revolution all the countries that Napoleon conquered he insisted that they drive on the right um, the vehicles went on the right hand side of the road and Britain, now Ireland being under British rule at that time, they stood fast and said, no, that's not the way we're going to do it. Absolutely not. We are sticking to the left side of the road. So Ireland is stuck with that now. So we drive on the left and that's a little bit of history as to why. Now along those lines, following number two is don't bring up past history. Don't bring up the Civil War. It's, it was a dark time in Irish history and it turned brother against brother and it's heartbreaking and it's just it's just not a good conversation topic to have with Irish people. So don't. Rather, rather don't bring up um, past grievances in the history of Ireland. It's just, it, yeah, it, it, it'll be a, a sad conversation for to have with anybody. Um, if anything, I think tensions will be raised and a friend won't be made. So that's just my advice. Number two thing not to do in Ireland, don't bring up the past, don't bring up the civil war. Now here's number one and this is the most important and number one thing not to do in Ireland and in all seriousness. Don't refer to Ireland as part of the British Isles, don't refer to Ireland as Southern Ireland. Ireland is Ireland. Ireland is the Republic of Ireland. There is Northern Ireland and they are part of the UK. There is the UK. Ireland is separate. They are part of the EU. They are their own country. So don't, don't refer to them. Don't refer to Ireland as anything else but Ireland. Um, they are very proud people and and being referred to as anything other than Ireland would leave them feeling quite disrespected and the sun has just come out. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, yeah, so just, just remember that. Just remember Ireland is Ireland. It's not the UK. It's not part of the British Isles. It is Ireland and it's beautiful and come and visit. being blinded by sunlight, I want to show you how beautiful it is outside.
The sun is out. The rain has stopped. And you can see me <laughs> squinting in the window. And it's a beautiful day. So today's video is much shorter, but it was very to the point and just things that we've learned that can just be offensive to um, coming to visit Ireland and to the Irish people. So it's just pointers from our perspective to keep in mind when visiting. And all in all though, Ireland is a beautiful country to come and visit, to live in. So with those things in mind, come and have an amazing time. Thank you so much for watching again and we'll see you next week. Goodbye.